Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London and another daily vlog. I'm currently standing on my bed, super excited, trying to edit yesterday's video as I await my new V10 chariot to arrive. You, I may have mentioned right at the end of yesterday's vlog that a brand new Audi R8 V10 Spider is coming right here for me to take down to Goodwood on the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Audi UK have pulled out all of the stops and been able to give us um, this fantastic car to drive up and down in. And on the Friday, I'm going with Tom, who's got the baby blue, no, just the blue M3. Then on the Saturday, I'm going with Sam, seen through glass. And then on the Sunday, I'm going with Ross, who you saw in two vlogs ago when we went down to Brands Hatch. So it is going to be an insane week. A lot of fuel is going to be burned, and I'm just waiting to look. Well, I am looking. I don't have to wait to look. Outside, I'm waiting for this car to arrive because... I've never driven a convertible, so I'm going to be making a video on what the fuss is about of having a convertible car here in the UK, but I'm also going to be doing a review on the new Audi R8. It's not the new, new shape, the one that was released this year. It's the facelift version of mine with the S-Tronic gearbox, I hope. I don't think it can come in a manual. Uh, but it's a wonderful day. The sun is out, so for the first time ever, I'm going to be driving a car with the roof down, which I'm incredibly nervous about desperately waiting this for this car to arrive and I thought, do you know what? You haven't had an update on my breakfast yet. Still eating Wheatos. I think I've got two boxes left and then it's time to replenish the stock. As if by magic, halfway through eating breakfast, the doorbell rings, the R8 arrives, it's sitting downstairs on my driveway. I've stopped everything. I've stopped everything. I'm going to pack my bags and get in it and go for a drive. Roof up, of course. Head over to SB. Then I need to edit the vlog from yesterday and then it's going to be um, filming all afternoon and the sun is out but I'm still so nervous to drive with the roof down so we'll see how we get on. So I'm on the move. I've realised that the uh, roof is red. I've got the window half down and what a stunning view out the back. This is ridiculous and I'm scared to put my foot down as well. This is the V10 S-Tronic gearbox. It's so smooth, the gearbox is so smooth and actually really quiet as well inside here because I haven't put my foot down and opened up the exhausts, but it just feels a little bit stiffer than my car and at the moment, that's about it. I've made it to SB and the car is sitting pretty next to my car and I'll tell you what, it does look awesome with the red roof and the chrome bits and the, the white with the ball polished V10 style wheels. It is a really cool car and I enjoyed the quick drive, I think it was about 5-10 minutes to here. Annoyingly, because I was so in a rush to get driving it, I have to edit the video before I go out and start filming every other bit of video that I want to do today. So I've got two videos that I want to film with that car. One includes driving with the roof down, which um, I'm nervous about to say the least. Um, but I also need to get my suction cup out of my silver car so that I can stick it in the R8 and drive properly, show you all of the different functions and things like that. I'm gonna take my proper video camera, film a review. I think I'm gonna film a review as well. So today is gonna to be playing with the V10 in the sun, which I can't wait about. But first of all, I've got to get in the office, get a drink of water. Um, my breakfast was ruined. It all went soggy in the milk, which, um, well, it wasn't that bad because it was a good distraction being outside and checking out the new car for the weekend. Oh, everything's so difficult with one hand. Right, my strict work ethic, video edited. Let's go and have a look at the car, I'll show you around it. I've got the key here and I always make sure that the video, door's locked. I always make sure that the video's done before I do anything exciting. So it's white with a red roof, and I think it's got light grey interior. It's got the old style ball polished V10 wheels, and it's basically the facelift version of mine. New tail lights, new exhaust tips. Look at the state of mine at the moment no number plate, nothing. Cool thing with this is the new indicators. Oh, yeah. Slightly different shaped. Wing mirrors, and then inside, yeah, it's a light grey interior. R8 steering wheel, S-Tronic gearbox, which is a bit dusty. It's got all of the new dials, and then here you've got the uh, how you can sort of go from between automatic, manual mode, neutral, reverse. This button is an interesting one, very interesting. It opens up the valves, traction off, 
got the um, sports suspension there, the air lift, and then down here you've got the um, roof, and then you've also got this window here. You can take that up and down so um, you can hear the exhaust system. But it's very nice in here. It's got the Bang & Olufsen sound system. And give me about an hour and then we'll go for a drive and get filming. Right, I've got two Audi R8 keys. My one's there. And it's time, now that my video is done, to take this for a bit of a drive. And I will show you the downshifts. You hear that? Not great until you put it in sport mode and everything <laughs> changes. Ready? <laughs> this sounds awesome. Right, I have arrived and I've immediately put the roof down purely for some pictures, which you would have already seen on Instagram. But I'm gonna do a quick walk around of the car. I promise I have not done one single mile with the roof down. So the, the filming that I'm gonna be doing of facing my fear, driving a convertible will be the first mile, two miles, three miles I do with the roof down. This is a awesome car. Carbon everywhere. And in a beautiful orange. Carbon everywhere inside, carbon and Alcantara. Yum. We're now heading into town, the new Into Watford shopping centre that used to be called the Harlequin, that I still call the Harlequin. You still call it the Harlequin? I do. Yeah. So, basically, um, we are going in to get lunch. Like I mentioned before, we had McDonald's yesterday, Burger King today. <laughs> you had Domino's the day before McDonald's. <laughs> so we're going for a whole round trip of all of the fast food places that you can get around here. I could never get away from this car for too long. But I just feel like cruising, it is a really nice day. I'm starting to like the idea of a convertible car. Stop downshifting. Just kind of feels like mine when I'm cruising. Slightly quieter and obviously ruthless. Rear or engine or interior. There's California there. I'm just cruising in auto now and it's. I love the S-Tronic gearbox, I love the double clutch. The manual obviously has that raw, raw driver focused. I mean this is like, how easy is it to take out of auto? Sport. <laughs> There's a bit of a procedure, but one you don't mind doing. You get that crackle as well. Just put it down to first. Really need the traction off. Like, this is gonna sound crazy, but this car's so powerful. Yeah, well, that got my stomach. <laughs> that is seriously quick. I want to do that again. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, guys, I think that is the end of today's vlog. All of the excitement has been drained out of me. I'm now absolutely shattered this evening. Not anything exciting going on, apart from I think I'm going to the cinema this evening to check out 
the new Jurassic World film. Let me know whether you've seen it. I heard today that it broke the record of turning over a billion dollars, I think. So, um, well, it's obviously good. I've heard from so many people that it is an awesome film. So I'm going to be doing that. But obviously, I can't vlog that. Um, but I'll probably go in this because I don't really want to get out of it. But I'm going to cruise back in auto, chill out, probably have a nap before I go to the cinema. But an awesome day. And ladies and gentlemen, Goodwood is upon us. It starts tomorrow and I'm heading down with Audi UK on the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Friday, I'm going to be with Tom. Saturday, Sam seen through glass. And Sunday with Ross. Um, and yeah, just bring it on. There's so many cool things happening. This car is so easy to drive when it's just in automatic. Thank you for watching, guys. Like I said yesterday, I think I sort of brushed over it too much. My statistics on YouTube are insane and it's all down to you guys. The support that you are showing for these daily vlogs is mental. So as soon as I get back from Portugal, the daily vlogs will begin again and the supercar spotting will begin. Hopefully I'm gonna be going back down to the south of France and um, fingers crossed, Monaco in September as well and it's all gonna be daily vlogged. I wonder whether I can go from the middle of July until the end of the year, daily vlogging every single day. Is that a challenge? Let me know whether you want to see that. Daily vlogging on Supercars of London until the end of the year. Thank you for watching. Take care. And I will see you tomorrow. And then bring on Goodwood. Please let me know. Comment below whether you've seen yourself. Seen your selfie in this. This is just the Twitter. And then we move on to Instagram. So now my job is...